Welcome again. Right now we're in the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 24, all the way through to chapter 2, verse 5. Paul's work in the Lord. Paul says, Now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, speaking to the people, the believers in Colossae, and fill up on my part that which is lacking of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the assembly, the church, the people of God of which I was made a servant according to the stewardship of God, which was given me toward you to fulfill the word of God, the mystery which has been hidden for ages and generations, but now it has been revealed to his saints, to whom God was pleased to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. We proclaim him, admonishing every man and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus, for which I also labor, striving according to his working, which works in me mightily. For I desire to have you know how greatly I struggle for you and for those at Laodicea, and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts may be comforted, that being knit together in love and gaining all riches of the full assurance of understanding, that they may know the mystery of God, both of the Father and of Christ, in whom all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden. Now I say this, that no one may delude you with persuasiveness of speech, for I am absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the Spirit, rejoicing and seeing your order and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. Don't miss the next session. I am going to be talking about one of the most misunderstood portions of Scripture ever to hit the church, and that is the last part of this chapter. Until then, seek God with all your heart, and if you do, you will find Him. Call upon Him, and He will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.